Welcome to Riders United the YouTube channel and in today's episode I would like to talk about a really common issue which is not uh, finding the neutral on your bike. So if you are curious about these uh, fixes for this uh, really common problem please uh, stick around and I will show you what I got. Here we go. So I thought I will share a few tips that can help you identify some of the components of your bike and also just uh, verifying few things on your bike that will help you to overcome this issue and making sure that you can easily find the neutral. Number one thing to check will be definitely make sure that you properly adjusted your clutch. This is a fairly easy procedure and I have to say this is really critical one because if you have any issues with the clutch and is not uh, adjusted properly that will cause a lot of issues not only with the finding uh, neutral but even with the switching gears and this is uh, something that is really common especially that the clutch adjustment is recommended on the annual basis so just make sure that uh, you will just uh, check it out or if you are riding a lot of miles I will highly recommend that you will take a closer look every 5,000 miles just to make sure that everything is uh, properly adjusted. The second thing that I would recommend that you will check will be the shifter mechanism components. So there is a lot of uh, different parts that are connected together that create the shifter mechanism. And I have to say it's really important to make sure that uh, those uh, components are actually connected together really well and there is not uh, too much play between them because you would like to make sure that uh, your uh, shifting mechanism is really precise so when you are moving the lever up and down everything is moving properly and it's also moving this uh, shaft that is going inside of the transmission that is shifting the gears in the proper manner so this is really important thing to check and I have to say this one is uh, also fairly easy you can just uh, just try to move some of those components or when you are moving your shifter level just to make sure that everything is moving properly and at the same speed and how you will expect it and nothing is really like uh, with too much play in it. The thing number three that I would recommend that you will check will be the proper level of the primary and the transmission fluid. So when you are doing your own service, uh, please uh, just uh, make sure that uh, you are adding a proper amount of the fluid or maybe if the dealer did the service for you, I will say it's not a bad idea to maybe just uh, double checking if everything is correct. If you have the primary that is overfilled with the, with the primary fluid, yeah, you might definitely experience uh, some of the issues because uh, that will be basically creating the uh, situation when your uh, clutch mechanism is uh, just slipping or is not properly engaging whenever you are releasing the clutch lever. So this is uh, something to definitely pay attention to. And the same thing with the, with the transmission. You can definitely just unscrew the dipstick and, and just pull it out, make sure that everything is according to specs. So this will help you avoid a lot of headaches, especially if you have the issues with finding neutral on your bike. Another thing to verify will be to make sure that you are using the proper oil types in the primary and transmission. So this really depends on the type of the motorcycle you got. So I will highly recommend that uh, you will contact your dealer or if you have service manual just to make sure that you are using the proper fluids in the transmission and primary because in some bikes uh, you are actually uh, able to use the same fluid but in some of the other bikes is actually recommended to use uh, two different types of fluid and those oil can be sometimes a little bit different and they will have different properties which actually might influence uh, how easy it is to find a neutral on your motorcycle. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. You have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. I currently have over 300 uh, different uploads on my channel, so I really hope that you will find something interesting for yourself. And if you hit the bell icon, you will get notification each time I release new video. So let's jump back to the video. The tip number six that I would like to share with you is to apply a light pressure on the side of the shifter lever before you start the shifting. This will allow you to learn a little bit more of control when you are shifting the gears. And uh, this is especially true for neutral because if you are shifting gears between the first and the second gear, 
Yes, obviously you can just uh, pull this level a little bit more, but in order to find neutral, you have to find this like a medium position for the shifter level. So just applying a little bit uh, of the pressure on the side of the shifter level is actually a good technique to help you out with uh, finding neutral. The tip number seven will be to install the heel shifter. I have to say, this is something that really helped me out with finding neutral almost every single time. It looks like sometimes when we are shifting gears, if we are using the heel shifter, it actually helps quite a bit because there is a little bit more precision how much you are moving this level up and down. So I will have to say, this is a really helpful tip that actually helped me out quite a bit. So if you are doing all those other things that I mentioned and you still experience some of the issues, I will have to say maybe you should consider the heel shifter because in my case it was definitely the game changer and I will highly recommend it. The tip number eight, try to change uh, the gear to neutral when the motorcycle is still in motion. This is uh, really something that helped me quite a bit as well. So obviously when you are at the stop, it's really difficult to find neutral because the bike always want to go in the first gear or into the second. So what I start doing, I actually start like changing gears to the neutral when I was uh, still uh, rolling on my bike. So when the bike was still in motion and uh, this actually helped quite a bit and I found it like really helpful to do. So this is something that you might also try that will uh, help you out uh, to find neutral uh, way easier than uh, when the bike is uh, stationary. The last tip that I would like to share in here will be to upgrade your uh, transmission oil to the heavy duty oil. I was uh, really happy with the results uh, when I did that on my previous bikes and I will be definitely doing that on my uh, Road King Special that I currently own. I wouldn't recommend uh, changing uh, to the heavier oil if you are riding your bike during the winter season, but uh, if you are riding your bike uh, kind of like most of us between the spring and the fall, and you don't really ride below like a 50 degree or maybe 40 degree weather, I will have to say this is definitely the thing to, to try. And in my case, it quiet the uh, transmission operation. So I have less of the clang when I was uh, changing the, the gears from neutral to the first gear. And I was really happy with it. So I will be definitely doing that on my bike. So I really hope that you will find this uh, video helpful and it will help you to resolve some of those issues. I have to say I'm really curious about uh, what you are experiencing on your bike. So please feel free to put some comment below and let me know if you are experiencing the issues with uh, finding neutral on your bike and maybe some of the tips that I share in here help you out. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet, please uh, like and subscribe. I have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. And I really hope that you will find something interesting for yourself since uh, I already have uh, 300 uploads on my channel. There is uh, plenty to choose from. So uh, please uh, check some of those videos and uh, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much and I will see you next Friday. Bye bye.